What's going on you guys? It is The Talking Sasquatch and it's great to have you back. Now if you've watched my channel before, you may have seen that I really like everything I've gotten so far from M5 Stack. I've made videos, actually a couple, on the card pewter and the M5 Stack Fire. Everything's so easy to use, so intuitive, I just absolutely love everything about it. And every time I made a video, I'd either ask on the video or on Twitter or something like that to see if I can get their attention to try some more products of theirs. Well guess what? They finally got back to me. Absolute legends over at M5 Stack actually sent me a whole bunch of cool stuff to take a look at. I am so psyched. So let's not waste any more time and let's check it out. So yeah, the story goes, as soon as I posted the video of about playing Doom on the card pewter, M5 Stack finally reached out. They let me comb through all their products and pick out some of the coolest stuff that they make. Culminating with this guy, it's a self-balancing robot which uses an M5 Stack Fire. Super psyched to play with this one. We're gonna put it together and check it out. First, let's check out some of the other stuff they sent. Actually, speaking of, if you've ever ordered anything from M5 Stack before, I have a sneaking suspicion you've gotten this guy, the M5 Tape. It seems like everybody that I know that's ordered from M5 Stack has gotten this tape before it's just kind of a fun promo it's actually pretty good tape it's kind of like our own little inside joke anyway this is the m5 stick c 1.1 let's switch cameras and take a closer look as i said before this is the m5 stick c plus 1.1 let's break it open and check it out there we go this thing is so small and compact it has an esp32 pico in there which is kind of cool i wonder if there's any charge on it can i turn it on you have a front button. It is on. Oh, super cool. It's just got like kind of a UI test on it right now, but that's pretty neat. Where you can do a lot of things. Ah, oh, that's right. So it's got a tilt sensor. You notice how that changes? Very, very cool. Let's see what are the other buttons do. Okay, we've got time. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wait, that's audio. <laughs> it's got a microphone. Check that out. That's super cool. What else can we do? It has IR, which must be, where is IR on this thing? Or do I need a sensor for that? It does have an IR transmitter. It's actually up on here. That's super cool. This thing is an absolute workhorse for how small it is. I'm definitely gonna bring it to DEF CON. I know this video might come out after. I've already been there, but either way, it doesn't matter. This thing is so much fun. It's got Bluetooth. It's got everything you could really need to make this super useful. Now it's also gonna be super useful is adding custom firmware to it, because obviously this is just a demo. So let's hop to the desktop and check out M5 Burner and see what else we can do with this thing. But first, just so we don't forget, let's go ahead and plug the sucker in. This thing uses USB-C, which is definitely my favorite connection type. So, all right, let's check it out. Here we are down at the desktop. We're gonna go ahead and use M5 Burner. Just Google M5 Burner. It's the first thing you're gonna run into because it's actually the software that we're gonna use anytime we wanna change the firmware on an M5 product. So since we're using the M5 stick, we're gonna go to, where did it go? Okay, stick C and take a look at what they've got to offer. So we have the official UI flow and stuff like that, but the more fun stuff comes when you start scrolling down because there's actually a lot of great stuff. There's actually a program for running a Rover. So if you have the hardware for that, obviously it looks like a DIY kit. This is the software for it. Keep moving down and we've got Nemo. So let's go ahead and flash Nemo for the moment because we've used this before. It's so easy though. All you have to do is download, burn, click continue and that's it. Make sure that you have the right COM port. I do like to disconnect and reconnect the device sometimes. So if I do it right now, you'll see that when we plug it back in, it's gonna say COM port 12. I do have other ESP32 based devices plugged into my computer. So you gotta make sure that you don't overwrite anything. Also note that there's an M5 Stick C plus two and the M5 Stick C plus. So there's two different ones. I have this guy right here. So that's the one we're gonna burn. Click burn, click continue, COM 12, let's go. Two very boring minutes later. And just like that, it's done. How cool is that? So now it's got a little clock display on there, which is nice, but you can actually press the buttons. I got to figure out how the buttons work. Here we go. This comes with a the clock that we just saw. TV be gone because it does have the IR on it, which is very cool. A lot of these projects like Nemo and Bruce really aim to bring the Flipper Zero functionality over to the M5 stack ecosystem. It's really cool. So you have Wi-Fi attacks, Bluetooth attacks, IR attacks, so can do a lot of the things that Flipper Zero can do. It's extremely cool. Let's get back onto the burner and see what other cool apps they have. So another app I wanted to try was actually Dino. I know it looks silly, but it looks like it could be fun. So continue and let's start this. 
Okay, yeah, quick note, make sure whatever you're using is for the actual version of the M5 stick. The software I just installed was not the correct one, so now all it does is this. Uh, so let's go back and find some stuff that'll actually work. Okay, I've actually wanted to try this for a while. It's just a little silly avatar thing, but it looks like it could be pretty fun. So let's install this and see how this thing goes. Okay, this guy is actually pretty awesome. I might actually make a 3D print for this and sit him on my desk. This is way too much fun. I actually have a better application for this exact project a little bit later on in the video, but uh, this this is fun. I could watch this thing all the time. Uh, let's see if we can find one more cool app to put on this guy, but this makes me happy. It's so silly. Now, another really cool thing is the M5 launcher for the M5 stick because you can wirelessly install pretty much anything just on the device. This is a $20 piece of machinery or electronics, I guess, but the amount of capability it has. I mean, look, it's got all of the different Marauder styles, there are a ton a ton of different things on here so if you're just trying to dabble with stuff being able to run marauder on such a small inexpensive device with a screen is absolutely amazing digital pet i mean that looks so fun there's so many cool things to do on here all right where are we at i'm getting sidetracked let's check this guy out it's actually supposed to be a, a bit of a flipper zero kind of vibe for the m5 stick let's go ahead and burn this and see what this looks like all right so that's pretty cool it's called the f stick what do the buttons do top button side button a button here we go we have wi-fi ble settings just like everything else information ir utilities let's check out ir utilities oh we can spam signals okay yeah it's just being like a tv be gone it's pretty cool so it seems like with the software that's already out for this thing there's so many cool things you can do with it and again it's 20 bucks that's so cool and it's so tiny all right let's move on and check out some other cool stuff so remember what i said earlier that i wanted to use that little avatar thing on something else well this is what i wanted to use it on you sure about that this is the M5 Stack Atom S3. It actually uses an ESP32 S3, just like the card pewter, making it extremely capable. This thing's super cool. Let's check it out. Pop it out of the case. Eh. Look at this guy. He's so tiny. It's so tiny. So this little guy is a bit stripped down from the M5 stick, obviously, because it's smaller, but it does have a gyro on it, and it still does have IR through that little teeny tiny hole. So let's plug this into burner and let's see what we can do with this guy. Actually, before we do that, let's plug it into power and see what it does. Cool little starting screen. It's hard to see with the contrast, but uh, yeah, actually what's really cool is this is a button. It's a tactile button. You can't hear it, but you actually press the screen. So this already has UART monitor. It's got a PWM on it. There's a lot of stuff. IR send, IMU test. So right out of the box, this thing actually does a pretty decent amount. But yeah, let's get back to M5 burner and see what else we can do with it. All right, so now we're gonna go to Atom S3, because that's the one that I have, and scroll all the way to the top, because I've already been looking around. So we have the user demo that we had before. There's actually a snake game that's kind of cool. Hal Atom S3. Actually, that's cool. Let's throw that on there for the moment, see what that does. So I had to take the exposure way down to be able to see this because it's kind of bright, but it's actually playing moving video, which is kind of crazy on this thing. Very cool. Actually, if I angle it a little bit, you can see more. But yeah, it just kind of shows animations and stuff the entire time. Check it out. That's pretty, pretty darn cool. Again, it's hard to show you on the screen because, again, the exposure is so weird. But uh, let's see what else we can do with it. Oh, no, I forgot that the Atom S3 does not have a built-in yeah, microphone, yeah, so we won't yeah, be able to use yeah. our cool little avatar guy over here. That's a bummer. But what we can use is Evil Atom S3. So this is by the other one. He's got evil card pewter, evil M5, everything. So might as well try it on the Atom because this thing is super tiny and fun. Yep, and here it is, just like every other time we've used it. This is evil card pewter, evil S5, S3. It's all the same stuff, but you can use the screen to press it to change things and then long press to open menus, I believe. Yep, there we go. Very, very cool. All right, next thing we're to check out is the M5 stack dial. So this is actually kind of cool. It's got a rotary encoder in it, and I believe it's the same ESP32 S3 that's on everything else. Yep, ESP32 S3. So open this guy up. Oh, that's fun. Eh. Doesn't want to come out of the box. Ah, there's a nut behind it. That thing is actually really freaking clever. Yep, it runs off the ESP32 S3, which is the stamp, runs the card pewter, and runs a lot of the other stuff. So, pop it out of here. We're free. It also tells you exactly what size hole, 45 millimeters, to drill to fit this sucker into it, which is pretty cool. Eh, might as well screw this back together for safekeeping. USB-C. It's got a tactile dial on it. 
It has a little bit of a clicking noise. It's actually pretty satisfying, actually. So let's plug this thing in and see what it does. More power. Oh, that's cool. Let me see if I can adjust the uh, exposure so you can see this a little better. There we go. Just got to turn the exposure to pretty much all the way off. But, oh, it's got audio. I'm sure you can't hear that, but Wi-Fi scan, BLE server, temp control demo, and more. So let's go to LCD test, rotate encoder to change color. Okay. Touch screen to draw points. What? Is it CFT? It is. Whoa, that's really cool. This is actually a touch screen. That's freaking cool. We know what time is. RFID test. Place your RFID card above the screen to read. What? Now, I don't have any RFID cards, but if I did, I'd definitely test them. I actually just looked for them. I couldn't find any. DLE server, temp control demo. So, oh, cool. So this would be basically the workflow if you're setting this as a thermostat. Very cool. So let's plug this into M5 Burner and see what it does. So this is a relatively new piece of hardware, so there's not a ton for it, including the normal demo. We have the Shark firmware, which is basically the same as Nemo. Those are all forks of Marauder, effectively. But let's see what this little eye flashy guy does. That looks fun. Here we go. And now we've got ourselves an eye. Very cool. Closed eye, open eye. Closed eye, open eye. What else do you do? Is this, is this all you do? Just closed eye, open eye, surely there's something else that this does. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. Is that it? <laughs> That's it. I assume this can be programmed separately. Let me throw a shark on here just for good measure so we can see what something actually does. A very, very cool M5 shark. Oh, you can press the rotary? You can. Very cool. All right, so what do we do? Here we go. Okay, okay, I see you. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, QR codes. It's got all the same stuff, but I love how they did the menu. That's really cool. Oh, I can set the brightness. You can actually see it. That's cool. Rotation, song disable. I can, s there's a song? <laughs> Oh, that's cool. That's cool. So it just goes to show how creative people are as far as making all this software. They did such a great job on all of it. Let's take a look at the last project that we have, and I think that one's going to be a lot of fun. All right, cool. So here's the star of the show, the self-balancing M5 stack fire. Let's crack this open. How does this open? Here we go. Get this unpacked. And actually pretty nice USB cable, which is cool. Oh, nice parts. I love parts. That means we're going to have to build stuff. More stuff. Wires. Wheels. I'm going to have to pick this up to get this out here. Hold on. <laughs> Had to kind of manhandle that box, but here we are. This is the M5 Stack Fire. It does actually have a different lower to it, but I'm pretty sure this is the exact same piece as what we have before. And then we have a couple wheels. But before we do that, let's make a quick segue to today's sponsor, PCBWay. Hey, if you want to make your own devices and not rely on somebody else, guess what? PCBWay's got you covered. PCBWay is your one-stop shop for PCBs, 3D printing, CNC, sheet metal fabrication, and more. Furthermore, they're going to help you out every single step of the way to make sure no matter what your project is, it gets done right. I've had a ton of stuff made by PCBWay, and every single item I've ever gotten from them has been absolutely flawless and immaculate. You can even see some of the projects I've made in my shared project store. That's right. You can find shared projects from creators all over the world and print them yourself. It's that easy. Thank you so much to PCBWay for your continued support. Let's get back at it. All right, so let's start putting it together. How does this work? Wheels go in one direction. There we go. One wheel. Two wheels. Is that it? Is that all we have to do? Can I just turn it on and it works? Or do I have to flash something to it? Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mother, I crave violence. It's crazy. It's crazy. I think I need to calibrate it. It keeps crashing into my flipper. Hold on. I honestly thought there would be a lot more work involved in putting this together. Let's see if I can get it to auto calibrate. Whoop, it doesn't like to be on the ground like that. Up, oh, let go, let go, let go. It's still not quite balanced. It still wants to crash. What's going on? Okay, apparently I'm supposed to press the middle button and the left button simultaneously. Oh wait, the red button. Hold on, middle button and the red button. Oh, there we go, there we go. Balance for two seconds. How are we, how are we? Up, up, up. We good? Whoa, 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 slow down, slow down. Still a little mad. Uh, Let me see if I can re recalibrate it a little bit so it doesn't keep going nuts whoa whoa stop okay apparently i'm still in calibration mode so i should be able to fix this or something hold on 
supposed to be able to use the A or the C buttons. What's this doing? Is it doing anything? No, it's matter. More mad, more mad. Up, 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 up. <laughs> this thing's a blast. Whoa, careful. I'm very close. I'm very close. I feel like we can do this. No, no, that's what, what worse. We're making it worse. So we're so close. Oh, wait a minute. Let me do this. Let me calibrate it upside down. Bad. Extremely mad. Very mad. Nothing works. Shoot. Bounced. Up. Oh, up. Oh, nope. Nope. So let's see what else came with this thing, because there's a bunch more parts. What else can I do with all these parts? Yeah, look at all this. Yeah, I've been looking around. I don't know what these are. These are for wheels of some sort, but they're not for the wheels that I have. Very interesting. And obviously, these are just normal Lego Technic pieces on there that we can clip in here and do more cool stuff. But this thing's really fun just on its own. It's it's just a blast. Man, M5 Stack really does just have the coolest stuff. Now, if there's anything else by M5 Stack you'd like me to take a look at, please let me know in the comments down below. What was your favorite device? I know the M5 Stick is really cool and it's gonna be super, super useful, but self-balancing robot is really fun as well. Again, thank you so much to M5 Stack. They sent me all this cool stuff. They're not paying me to make a video, so it's all my honest opinion, but their stuff is honestly pretty awesome, so. There's really nothing to say with good things. As always, thank you so much to every one of you guys for watching my videos. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. It helps me out a ton. You guys are absolute legends, and we'll catch you next time.